Now that we've edited our activity and made it perfect for our students, let's go ahead and assign this activity to our class. So let's tap on the Assign button. And let's check our class. You probably only have your own class. And over here, we can tap on Edit Students. And this is where we can assign it to all of the students in our class at once. Or instead of assigning it to all students, I could just check off the students who really need this activity. Um, maybe it's providing a little more challenge for them or a little bit more practice and support for them. So I can either assign it to the entire class or I can assign it to a select few of my students. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the check to save that. I also want to tap on folders here and tap folders in this tab. And I want this activity to already be assigned to a folder again before my students even see this activity. So these are sight words, so I'm going to go ahead and check the reading folder. And that way this activity will be put in the reading folder for every one of my students when they submit it. And I won't have to tap the folder icon and select the reading folder for every one of my students just once. So I'll tap the check to save that. And I could also tap here to adjust my skills. I've already done that in a previous step. And you can see here I have one skill assigned to this, one folder, and it's assigned out to four students. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on Assign to One Class to assign this over to my students. All right, I'm going to go back to my library here. In addition to assigning an assigning an activity to the whole class or to a few of the students, you can also schedule an activity when you're ready to assign it. So maybe I want to choose this day four math lesson here. And as I look at this, I think that these directions are okay and I'm not going to edit them. I'm going to use this activity just like it is. So I'll go ahead and tap on assign. I will check off my class. I want this to go to all of my students. So I'll tap on Edit Students. They're all selected. I'm going to tap on Folders. This is a math activity, so I will check the math folder. And I want to check some skills. So maybe it fits well with this first skill here. Again, I don't have all of the math power standards uploaded to my professional development class here. So I'm just going to check this one and I will tap on this check now. So I can see I have it going to all my students, one folder and one skill and that is going to save me a lot of time later so that I don't have to select the folder or the skill for all my students. Now instead of just assigning this, I'm going to tap on the schedule button over here and I am going to assign this to be due on Thursday 26th and I'm going to assign this to be due at 9.30 in the morning. Alright, so I'm going to tap the check. Now my assign button says it is assigning this activity March 26th at 9.30 a.m. So I will go ahead and tap on that and it has assigned that activity but my students will not see that activity on their activity tab until that day and time that I selected. So this really helps me to get organized and set up my activities in advance so that they're ready to show up for the students on that day and time and ready to go for my students.